the Netflix tapes. Harry's wife rides with Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You are aware that there have been repeated suggestions that Harry's wife has been accumulating recordings and video footage as a need to produce something, having signed a Megabucks deal with Netflix. So far, she has produced the square root of fuck all in relation to this contract, and the pressure is on for her and the Prince of Pink Pancakes to come up with some content. This has led to instances where she has been seen with a film crew trailing behind her at the Harry's Wife Games in the Netherlands, and of course with the shameless display at Uvalde when visiting the memorial to the tragic victims of the shooting recently. It has also led to accusations that she has turned up wired for sound in circumstances where it would not be welcome. This was apparently part of the reason, or the reason, why she and old Ginger Bollocks were unceremoniously, unceremoniously removed from the United Nations building last year. There were strong suggestions that when Inspector Gadget got booed at the Platinum Jubilee, that she was wired for sound at the shushing of the colour and the service of booing. And more recently, there have been repeated allegations with pouring over of the evidence and questions raised with regard to her being mic'd up and wired for sound whilst attending the Windsor walkabout following the demise of Queen Elizabeth II. As a consequence of the extensive reach of the Ultra, uh, certain persons who, of course, I cannot let you know who they are, have furnished me with a selection of these recordings. I call them the Netflix tapes, and as part of my role of enabling you to understand more about Harry's wife and her behaviours, I provide to you this information to enable you to understand more about the way that she conducts herself. Here, I have laid my hands upon what occurred when she took the car journey recently to Westminster Hall with Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Here comes the recording. Make of it what you will. Hi, Sophie. So good to see you. My, you look golden. Have you been using that authentic gentleman's relish that I sent you? Mmm, I slap some all over my face every night, just as I have done for years. That's why I still look like I'm in my 20s. Maybe it doesn't suit the weather here. Must be all the moisture you guys have here. I went to Manchester last week. You probably watched my speech. They tell me it always rains in Manchester. But it didn't rain when I was there. I had a word with God beforehand to make sure things were kept dry. So, how's things with you? I'm super excited to be here. Isn't this such a fun day out? You and me riding together? It's like Top Gun, isn't it? Have you seen the latest one? Tom asked me to be in it, but I had to finish my Archetype podcast. What do you think of them? Oh, 
are you upset? I didn't ask you to be a guest. I get it. Everybody wants to be on my show, of course. But I could only do so many episodes. It takes so long to record. Good job I had some parental leave, or I could have burned out. Anywho, do you like my hair? Stunned into silence, yeah? I get it. More and more people go so quiet around me these days. I guess that's the effect I have, being, you know, such a fabulous diva. But only in the positive diva sense, you know? So, how are you liking being a countess? Not as good as a duchess, I guess. Hmm, that must suck. Does that mean that you're good at math? Something? Hello? Something? Please talk to me. I don't like it when people don't talk to me. Hello? Please? Please say something. Anything. It's not fair. I want to be a princess too. Sophie? Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Papa, make the bad lady say something. H, where are you? Please, please speak to me. I'm dying here. Nobody's asked me if I'm okay.